Hello everybody, Fuzzfinger here, and I know a lot of you, myself included, have been wondering how, once the item squish takes effect in Warlords of Draenor, are we going to be able to solo those old instances we used to enjoy doing so much, whether you do it for transmog, or for achievements, or whatever else. The good news is, you will still be able to do so, so I'm going to go ahead here and show you how it works. We're going to head into Molten Core which of course was a level 60, and still is a level 60 raid instance, although I believe it's being buffed into a level 90 or level 100 raid binder version later on in the year for the 10th anniversary, so I'm certainly looking forward to that. But as far as the monsters in old instances go and old content uh, is concerned, they don't actually have any nerfs to them, so you can see this level 60 Molten Giant here has around about the same amount of hit points as my own Paladin, and whether their damage is nerfed or not, I'm not sure, but one thing you will notice is that your character is going to do a lot more damage than usual. I've got no buffs or anything showing me this, so I'm guessing that will be put in before the expansion launches, but if I go up here and Judgment this Molten Core, uh, sorry, this Molten Giant, you can see, not even with any crits, I'm getting like 400k damage. And that's with the item squish. So yeah, there's definitely been buffs put in place so that you won't have any problems soloing some of these old instances. But let's have a look at how the bosses work. So we've got Lucifron incoming here, and Lucifron has a healthy 441,000 hit points. But unless the buff doesn't work on bosses, which I doubt very, very much, or it would seem rather pointless, that's not going to last all that long. So we'll take out his ads there fairly simply, and down he goes with one hit. So yeah, I think Blizzard did say that they want soloing to be at about the same level, if not easier, than it was before, just to help those who really were against the item squish. Uh, for that reason that they'd be worried they wouldn't be able to solo things, solo old content. But yeah, as you can see, that really isn't going to be a concern you need to have at all. Magma Dart, no problems. Obviously I don't need to loot any of that rubbish. So just heading up to Gehenus now. And one thing I like about the way they've done this is that if you were against the item squish because you like to see those big numbers, then at least you can come back to older instances and yeah, see massive damage numbers even bigger than before. It is a bit annoying that it works behind the scene, I would like to know exactly what this buff is doing for me. Is it increasing my defences as well? I mean there's no difference here in my character stats. These all look pretty normal to me, so it'd be interesting to see exactly what it does. Like I say, I reckon that will go live with the expansion. But yeah, this was just a quick video just to show you that soloing is still going to be an option for those of you who like to do it, and that does include myself. I do like to try and complete those transmog sets. So please do join me next time as we continue on with the Warlords of Draenor Beta. Until then, take care, see you soon.